Resident Evil 7 has a ton of bonus content, and some of that content involves unlockable items that can make your next playthrough of the game a lot easier. By completing the game in under 4 hours, you can unlock an achievement as well as additional items like the circular saw and x-ray glasses. And today, I'm gonna help you do just that. Hey there you wonderful human, I'm Little One You Are, and today I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks on how to beat Resident Evil 7 in under 4 hours. Let's get into it. Playing this game on easy will be the quickest way to get through it. Seriously. Enemies will have less health and it'll be a hell of a lot easier to get through the game faster. Just. It's just better to do it on easy. Using both the knife and handgun will be your best friends. You won't have much time to get resources, so you'll need to be selective with the weapons that you do choose. You don't have to take out every enemy. In fact, it's faster if you don't. If you do have to shoot at an enemy, aim for their head or for their legs to force them to crawl on the ground, which will make it easier for you to get around them. Do note, if you're close to them, they can still have a chance of getting you. So just be careful. Practice your headshots for the enemies that you do end up having to face. And I mean it. Practice, practice, practice some more. And then if you think you've got it, maybe practice a little bit more after that. If you end up dying, do not hit retry. If you do this, it will end up adding more time onto your total game time. And we do not want that. Instead, quit out and then reload from your last save. Don't go out of your way for items that you don't need such as the shotgun, antique coins, the flamethrower, or the grenade launcher. Know the route that you're taking. Having to backtrack will waste precious time and will end up adding up later. And you do not want that. You know those phone calls that you get throughout the game from Zoe? Did you know that you can skip some of them? Here's a list of the ones that you can skip. If you skip them, it won't matter. It won't halt your progress. However, any of the ones that are not listed here are essential in order for you to progress in the game. Do not skip the other phone calls that are not on this list. There aren't too many cutscenes that you can skip in this game. However, there are a couple that are skippable towards the end as well as some movies that'll play out. Make sure that you skip all of those because they will add on to your total game time if you watch through them. Pay attention to when autosaves occur. The less time that you have to spend saving the game, the better. Also, if you are saving the game, do note that it is gonna count against your game time when you spend time in that menu. However, it is recommended to save before the Marguerite boss fight because that boss fight can be a little bit of a pain in the ass and having to backtrack and go back through a bunch of stuff is just, no. Utilize your item box as little as possible. When you do have to grab items out of it, grab those items quickly. If you need to grab a group of items quickly and those items happen to be lined up in a row, highlight the first item, grab it, and once that's been grabbed, the next line will automatically highlight, making it easier and quicker to smash the pickup button and grab those groups of items. Getting through this game quick can be super satisfying and maybe even inspire you to try to speedrun the game even quicker. Speaking of speedrunning, go ahead and check out the series over here that I started where I'm trying to speedrun this game on Madhouse. It's interesting. Don't forget to treat yourself well and see you later. Bye.